Ah, better get ready first. Just realised the curtains are open and I'm getting changed. Hey YouTube. Um, so this, sorry. Forgot my socks. Sorry about that. So this is my first sort of video of this kind. I'll do a proper intro video and I'd say uh, another time, but I just wanted to tell you about my Saturday. So today is Sunday the 19th of January and yesterday I had a really busy day. I woke up early for me on a Saturday about half eight to go downstairs because at nine o'clock tickets for Bournemouth versus Liverpool in the fourth round of the FA Cup went on sale. Given that it was a home game, Dad and I thought we'd try and get tickets. So after about 45 minutes of trying online, refreshing, 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 we just kept getting server errors. We finally got through to the select your seats page but it said there were no seats available. By this time I was starting to lose hope. I knew that tickets for the Yeovil Southampton game, Yeovil's tickets sold out in about 10 minutes we'd passed that by half an hour at least. So I was starting to lose hope. After about an hour I gave up um, and came upstairs I pretty much conceded that tickets had sold out but mum and dad still believed. Dad was still downstairs refreshing, refreshing, refreshing and mum was still on the phone. I think she'd got to about position 60 or something by this time. Meanwhile I was upstairs trying to play guitar. I think it was about 11.45 so I'd been trying for nearly three hours before mum got through to somebody on the phone and dad got through to the webpage at the same time to pay for his seats. After taking a look at which were the best seats, mum decided to proceed and get the tickets over the phone. So after about three hours of trying, mum and dad did really well and got us tickets to go see Liverpool at Gold Sand Stadium, aka Dean Court. Then, at the same time, dad and I had already got tickets to go see Bournemouth that Saturday. So yesterday about 12.15 we set off for Bournemouth. So we got to the stadium and we were sitting in the East Stand where we've never sat before. And as you go around the stadium you approach it from kind of like the northwest. and so we go around to the other side and on the other side there's some parking spaces and there's a wall where they've got all sorts of team photos throughout the years. I think the earliest one was 1908 and obviously the 70s had the dodgiest haircuts. So we looked at those for a bit and then we went into the stadium to take our seats. The game was Bournemouth versus Watford. At the time Watford were just above Bournemouth only on goal difference but they had a game in hand. I think earlier in the season Bournemouth played Watford and they lost pretty badly. Most of the first half went by pretty undramatically. I think it was literally extra time of the first half that Watford scored their first goal, pretty much their first shot, and it went in. So that was a bit of a down on them. In the second half, it was clear that Eddie Howard chat with the boys, and it was obvious that something was going to happen. So I think it was about the 65th minute when Bournemouth got a penalty. The linesman was the guy that actually called the penalty, not the referee. But the referee took the decision, gave the red to the uh, potentially the wrong guy, um, but Bournemouth got their penalty. Lewis Graben popped it in, and it was 1-0. With Watford down to 10 men, it looked like Bournemouth were going to do pretty well and they were constantly attacking, attacking, attacking. And there were several shots on goal, not all of them on target. Anyway, second penalty, Lewis Graben steps up. Boop, 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 bah, but unfortunately, goalkeeper guesses right and he saves it. And that was it. There was loads of attacks from Bournemouth in the second half. Bournemouth probably should have won, but they didn't. One point is better than none, so we have to go away with that. So after that, I had plans to go see Wolf of Wall Street, which started at 6.45. So I had to get in, have some dinner quickly, leftover pasta from lunch and then rush out straight away. And it was awesome, Wolf of Wall Street was brilliant. Just to warn you, it is three hours long, so if you're going to see it, bear that in mind. But it was so much funnier than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't even realize it was gonna be funny. Several moments where you're laughing at things that are wildly inappropriate, but that's why they're funny. And despite it being hilarious, there were moments where they would just slap you in the face with a huge amount of despair when things started going wrong for the characters. And if you like Leonardo, and if you like Jonah Hill, and you've got three hours to spare, definitely go and see it, because it was awesome. And after that, I just came home and went to bed. Today's going to be a less busy day. I've just been playing guitar this morning. This afternoon, I think I'm going out for lunch with my grandparents and my parents. I don't know where we're going, but it should be nice. This afternoon, just going to read my book, The Logic of Life, Tim Harford. Yeah, and then play a bit more guitar. I'm, I've only just started playing, and... God bless. Uh... But I'm really enjoying it, so I'm going to crack on with that. I had to have this talk with you. I mean, as depends on you. What is it? I had to have this talk with you. My happiness depends on you. That's it. I had to have this talk with you. It's a work in progress. So that's about it from me. I had a really good weekend. And whoever you are and whatever you're doing, have a great week. Thanks for watching. Just a quick message feel free to subscribe to my channel or follow me on Twitter. Thanks again.